cha boom boom ba cha boom cha boom boom ba cha Now listen up all you big cat lovers with the snacks in your face and your peats under the covers It's time to hear a story so sit your butt down because Derek's gonna walk you all around the compound ba cha ba do Healing music to relieve stress, fatigue, depression, negativity. And um, it's got a bunny it's got a bunny rabbit on it. And it's it's like it's like gentle piano music. It's nice, you know. It it helps to create it creates a vibe. And for this guy, for this little guy. For Mr. Cheese Man. For Mr. Romano Cheese. I'm going to put him back in here. Um, oh, jeez. No. Flashlight off. There we go. I had the flash. Actually, because you could see. So flash on. Flash off. Flash on. Flash off. Okay. <laughs> sunroom's back to... This is nice. We have a sunroom. Because, like, for, I, for the longest time... Juno lived in here, and before that, Raven lived in here, and then and then Romano and Loki Luna for like a month. They were in that corner. So we've had animals in here for a long time, and we finally, finally got to the point where it's like, hey, no animals, which means we could like leave the door open, like house cats could come in and out of here, which Aku was like, whoa, new room. It smells like weird poop. I mean, like, Heidi cleans everything, but, you know, animals can smell the stuff that was, like, the remnants, the the echoes, the ghosts of Poop's past. <laughs> but uh, Mr. Cheese got a little sick. So after he got moved out into the main enclosure, um, he was just kind of going down a little bit. Like, um, he would be okay, like, in the evening, and then in the morning, go out to check on him. And then he would be like kind of uh, low energy, kind of laying down and not wanting to move in a different area kind of thing. And uh, Heidi's like, that's not good. Not looking so good. So she took him to get a CAT scan at the vet. And he had some bad sinus infections that are possibly, possibly associated with uh, some some fungal infections that I guess are fairly common in uh, cats, both domestic and wild. That's a very cute yawn. And they can kind of flare up. So like they basically the like cats can carry a lot of different fungal type stuff, but they can kind of activate and flare up after moments of. Uh, uh, like stress and immunocompromisation. So we're kind of thinking that Romano, from all of the moves from the place to getting then snatched up by, uh, you know, the, the authorities and then the rescue organizations and then making his way here and then being in the sunroom and all of these different changes and all these different places possibly, you know, caused a fungal infection to flare up which gave him a pretty gnarly sinus infection hi Heidi's been having to put medicine into uh, like dead day old chicks you get you can get you buy bags of day old chicks um, and these guys love to eat them so she takes and it's like it's weird it's so stupid it's cherry flavored it's like cherry flavored antifungal medicine so she's got to inject cherry flavored antifungal medicine into a dead chick and then feed it to the leopard cat. <laughs> Hi. But he is, after his checkup at the vet and after, because he's only been in here for maybe like two days um, and we are already being just like, we need to get you back outside. <laughs> okay. The phone flipped and then I turned it off. <laughs> I hit the stop button. <laughs> you jeepers crimmed. You, you jeepers crimmed the, the cast to a halt. Romano cheese. Romano cheese. Romano cheese. You have so much space. They, so this is the thing. So he was inside of this. And we're just like, hey, let's give him like, so let's give him Juno's enclosure. Like a training enclosure. Get him back. Back on his feet. 
And he's like, just, he's just going, me, me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you gotta, you gotta chill out, dude. We're gonna be friends. And I think that he's, he's definitely, like, when it comes to fight or flight, fight, flight, freeze, he has got fight. His instinct is to fight, of course. Of course. But it's a, it's a weird kind of thing because he really, <laughs> he really does. He does have a thing where he'll be like, he'll be a absolute uh, feces cranium. <laughs> a big time feces, a big old FC. <laughs> and then when we go, we decide to leave, he's like, hey, where are you going? <laughs> hey. And it's weird, like he actually, it's like he enjoys... He enjoys company, but like not too close. It's it's conflicting. But this whole all of this is so new. All of this is so new for him. So it's like I don't think he knows exactly how to like express a lot of emotions. And it's weird because he'll get into these things where he's like hiss hiss hiss, and then he's just like brief rub. I kind of like you. And then, wait a minute. Ah, shake. Blah, 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 blah. Hiss, hiss, hiss. <laughs> Romano cheese. You're a mess. But yeah. Yeah. All right. I got to go ahead and see the other cats. Yeah. He's like, he's like a little Joe Pesci kitty. Mr. Cheese, Mr. cheese man. He's passionate. That's, you know, it's commendable. All right. Hello, all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super du -du -du duper fantastic episode of the Walker on the Compound webcast. Let's get going. See some kitties. Let's, uh, yeah. It's nice. It's a nice spring day. Sun's out. It's not too hot. Mild breeze. Of course, you can hear the birds chirping. It's feed day. It's feed day. As such, there are some dead horses out in the field getting chopped up right now. I don't know how they got those holes in their heads. Hi. They were like that when they got here. <laughs> I told Heidi, like, hey, I wanna, I told Heidi, I wanna, uh, I gotta film, today's the last day, I gotta, gotta leave, but I wanna film the cats, I wanna film the compound when it's in a state of, like, everyone's still just like, hey, we're, you know, good mood, and we're not preoccupied with food, and then she's like, okay, well, can you just go and just, you know, take care of the horses, go shoot them. And I'm just like, no, 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 I was going to help you. And she's like, I can butcher. And I'm like, ugh. I'm like, just fine. <laughs> and then she said some wild stuff. She said some wild business where she's just like, in the amount of time that it takes you to film, I can have them all done. And I'm just like, that is not true. Beans. I call beans on that statement. Selena, you look amazing. She does. 23 years young. Hi, pretty. So, but more than likely, they're going to have most of them chopped up by the time I get done yakking to you folks. But then I'll be there for, I, look, I'll be there for the, the tossing part. The loading up and tossing to the kitties part. You know. Which is... One of my specialties. I was, uh, I was doing, I was basically doing refresher 
refresher training on morning duties the last couple of days. So I did, hold on, had to, had to, had to pause and cough. Pause and cough. That's, it's the, you know, that's the, the German village that my great, 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 great grandfather, I uh, grew, grew up in. The town of Posenkopf. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you went to Posenkopf? <laughs> We have the annual turnip festival. This is the town of Posenkopf. Come to the annual, this is the turnip festival. It's so much fun. You have to try chocolate dip turnip. <laughs> it's delightful. I don't even remember what I was saying before. I, it was yakking, I was saying something, I was yakking about something. Uh, Oh well. <laughs> oh yeah, morning duties. Morning duties. I did um I did meds. Meds yesterday. And then uh did waters this morning. And fed the lemurs this morning. Those are like the main there's there can be others one. But it's like waters waters slash checks. Cause you do you have to you have to do uh quality checks. Health checks whenever you do water. So it's like water, water slash check. And uh, yeah, perishable skills, I will say. Perishable skills. The waters, it's fine. It's like you, those, that's more straightforward. It's like, okay, you, you put the water in the bucket. Um, but a lot of times like feeding lemurs and doing meds that can strangely like if you don't if you don't do it regularly you lose a lot of like the muscle memory and a lot of like the little tricks to help kind of speed up the process because meds it's like oh I've got to make there's like there's powders and there's pills and then there's ground meat and you got to do all sorts of like this this stuff this these little kind of movements and motions and if you haven't, if you haven't done it in a while, it like, and I was like this yesterday where it's just like, and I kept, there's a, there's a chart that has like, okay, the, the current, here's where the cat, the cats get medicine or over here. And then it's just like, there's the counter. And I'm like, I'm, I'm just like the worst pharmacist ever where it's like one, two, three, he gets three. <laughs> One, one, and then just like, like this says teaspoon. Wait a minute, this is a tablespoon. Where the f is the teaspoon? <laughs> it's like it's like that. It's like that. It's like stuff like that. And I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, okay, okay. And then I scoop the chicken over here, and then do. And then there's there's certain there's certain kind of like hacks or there's certain kind of shortcuts that you can take, um, where it's like okay. You count, like, there's this, like, X number of cats. There's seven cats that they all get, like, a teaspoon of glutamine, uh, which is a is a is actually a bodybuilder supplement. Um, helps to prevent muscle loss, as uh, especially as cats age. Helps to prevent muscle loss via uh, wonky kidney function. Helps to, helps to stop cats from peeing out their proteins and their stored muscle mass. <gasps> Hi, I thought that you were Juno. You're not Juno. You're not Juno. Hi, you're little Miss Lulu. You're little Miss Lulu. I literally thought that you were just Juno, just hanging out. Like, that's, because that's kind of normally, that's like Juno normally kind of does stuff like that. Hi, beautiful. Hi, big girl. Oh my gosh. Hissy, hissy kitties. Hissy spitty. Hissy spitty. Oh, so sorry. Okay. Okay. <laughs>
So yeah, there's but there's different things where it's like okay, there's like seven cats that get glutamine, like a teaspoon. So it's like okay, like and you put all the seven teaspoons, and then you get like seven, you know, like scoops of the chicken, and then you put it all in a bowl, mix everything together, and then the partition from there, you know, you can't do that with pills because he's like, I'm just gonna take all the pills that I need. Okay, I need like uh, okay, this many cats. If I add all the pills that they need, that's 32 pills. I'm just gonna put it in the bowl and mix everything together and hope it works out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like making blueberry muffins. That's like that scene in Casino, you know, where uh, Robert De Niro is basically just like, I want each muffin to have exactly four blueberries. In it. And the guy's like, do you have any idea how long that's going to take? But as I was saying, it's like the more you do that stuff, the more you do it, just the, the, the quicker you get at it. But the less, like, which is good that I, I went back and did it. So that I can just kind of, again, it's like, it's refresher. I'm refreshing. I'm refreshing my skill set. There's Juno. There's Juno. Juni. Tuna. Thanks. Okay. And then there's little... The Loki right there. He's got uh, he's got issue with his uh, with the uh, what's the inner the inner eyelid that cats have, and this is an issue that sometimes that some cats can get uh, where they'll get that there's a they have their regular eyelids, but then there's an inner eyelid that actually comes across the side. It's just like a thin kind of sheath. And sometimes that inner eyelid can get kind of irritated. So it's like, oh, hey, hey. <laughs> Hi, Lulu. Hi, Luna. Pretty girl, pretty girl. Okay, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. They're so confused. They're just like, I don't know. I don't know if I should be afraid or a friend or if I should hiss. I don't I don't understand. It's like there's they have so many little emotions going on in their kitty brains. These three. <laughs> and they're per they're great. They're perfect. And they're perfect. I can't remember. I I can't remember who was a, who was a, I was talking. Actually, I think it was Melissa. I think it was talking when I was talking to Melissa on the phone. Um that it was like uh this whole enclosure is kind of like the the asylum in like one in like cuckoo's nest, um, and uh, you know like the three leopard cats are all like they're they're like the like your Christopher Lloyd's and I uh, I can't remember his name but that what's his face that played Worm Tongue in Lord of the Rings he was also in Cuckoo's Nest so it's like the guys who were like they had like legit reasons to be in the asylum and then there's like Juno. Who's like the Jack Nicholson character? Who was just like, "Hey, come on, guys, not be so crazy," <laughs> you know? And then, then they're just like, "No, stretch it. I just want my cigarettes." <laughs> Ruby. Ruby. Hi, Rubes. Hi, Ruby. Ruby two shoes. Ruby. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Oh, do you think I have food? It's alright, I'll use that. I was taking a I was taking a group around yesterday I was feeding, doing a feeding tour. And I was very specifically, very consciously saying, like, okay, no no no, like I'm I know you guys have been feeding cats this whole time, but let me let me also feed this one here. Because I, I wanted to start associating me with like treats. I tell you, it is it's weird. It's manipulative, but it is a form of reprogramming. I'm doing it for your own good, comrade. Comrade Ruble. We send you to re-education. I hear you purring. I hear you purring. 
I hear you burns. He's like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Okay. And then there's, and then there's this guy. There's that guy. Let's a little bit more so you can see his full face without a stick there. Whoa! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no no! There she is. Fantastic. Is she doing anything interesting? Nope, not really. I mean, just her, just her being is interesting. Hi, sugar pie. Okay. She says, I don't know how I feel about that. There over there. Naya and Deshanto. <gasps> Hi. So pretty. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. We almost we were so close to just leaving. Della. <laughs> It's like a weird, I don't know what that, it's like I gotta roll this way, and then I gotta roll this way. Now I'm ready to get up. It's my ritual. It's like how I, when basketball players have like a, they just have like a little ritual before they, before they do like a three point. Not a three point, but a, a free throw. And it's more, it's more about just like getting your body, your, like your body accustomed to a rhythm. Which there is, it's like a lot of psych, the psychological kind of, you know, there's a lot of benefit to that. I, it, it, I can't remember, I think mine was like, I would like twirl the basketball and then like one, two, three, and then do the, poof. yeah. And it, and weirdly enough, like I, the, the rate, and I'm not trying to sit there and say that I was ever like any good. I wasn't cause I just, I didn't practice. Um, <laughs> I got fouled a lot. I didn't know, or no, I fouled a lot. I got fouled out a lot. I did, I should say. Back when I did play in like middle school. Oh, jeez. So far. Sorry, bud. The boy. <laughs> the boy. Hi, bud. Hey, mister. Hey, mister man. But, uh, yeah, I, I was at that weird, it was an awkward phase, uh, which of course, you know, everyone's got that kind of thing going on. They got an awkward, an Ako taco phase. I, uh, got, I got very tall, very quickly, very young. I was six foot tall in fifth grade. So I just. It was, uh, I sprout up and dimensionally I have, I have like all of like the features of, uh, not in like all the features, but like I'm pretty structurally close to like what my like adult, I'm 6'2 now. Um, but I, I, I got like the, the scaffolding like, like went up really quickly during my development, but I didn't have like the necessary kind of like my, my ligaments and musculature and my, my software upstairs didn't know how to operate my new, uh, my new mech suit. <laughs> so I was, I spent a lot of years as, oh, 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 God, oh, I'm just a boy. <laughs> I really did. Oh boy, I really did. <laughs> I remember uh, there was like one time <laughs> I went to the movies. I went to the movies 
And uh, for the prices, the prices for the movies didn't go like shoot up to adult prices until like it's like if it was like 12 or 13, 12 or 13. So again, I'm like around six foot tall, like when I'm like 11, 12. And I, the, the movie, like the child movie price, it was like maybe six or seven bucks. I don't know, something like that. Six or seven bucks. And I had exact, like the amount of money that I had in my pocket was exactly the amount of money that I needed for a child priced ticket. And uh, I remember I went, to go be like one child ticket for uh, said movie, please. And the person, the the checker, the checker out or the cashier person was just like, "No, you're not. That's not. Not. Uh, no. This. Come on. Just pay up the regular price." And I'm, and I just, I do remember. I was like, "I am. I. But I am eleven. I'm only a boy. I'm only a boy. Please believe me." <laughs> And the, the the crazy thing is that my parents actually, uh, the, my parents were in the line going to a different movie because it, it all just, just so happened to be like going to the movie theater. I think they were checking up on me because I think that they just wanted to make sure that I was actually going to the places that I said that I was going to go, you know, because uh, I had a family, had a family like uh, like me and my uh, siblings, but it's sometimes some troublemakers. <laughs> Are you going to be where you said you're going to be? Like, of course. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, they just happened to be in the line going to a movie. Cause, and this, uh, that's how I knew it. It's like other stuff. Because they never went to movies. They was like, oh, no, we're just going on a date. Like, okay, sure. You just happen to be going to a movie. Or it could have literally just been just like, hey, you know what? We haven't been. He's going to a movie. Maybe it was also because maybe I shouldn't be so cynical. Maybe it really was. Me just saying like, hey, I want to go to a movie. And they're like, you know what? Haven't We haven't done that in a long time. Let's go do that. But anyway, regardless, they happen to be, strangely enough, uh, like a few people back in the line to go see a different movie at a, at a different theater. And as I was like pleading my case and saying just like, I'm just a boy. I'm a boy. I'm a, I'm a human being. <laughs> <laughs> they basically chimed in. They're like, yeah, he's I, he's 11. I know, he's a bit of a freak. We made a freak. <laughs> we, made a, we made a goddamn freak of nature. <laughs> Please let him pay the child price. Please let our ogre son go and see the, the child's price movie. <laughs> Hi, go, go. Hi, go, go. And I did. I did get to go see the movie <laughs> for the child. I was, yes. I was just like, thanks, Mom and Dad, for looking out for me. And I stomped my way through and, you know, smashed up like a bunch of bunch of chairs and like some of those velvet rope things. I didn't mean to. Just, just. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of the Walker on the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbs Award in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all of your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility around me, you can always visit the website, carerescuetexas.com for more information. You keep them tigers fed. Big shout out to the extra fancy patrons. I see you. You are so fancy. And thank you so much for your continued support. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye. Monkey's Butter Toast Munchie Saw Ghost